Hello friends, welcome to Apache Spark interview question series from Knowledge Powerhouse. Let's go on to our next question. Question is, what are the main libraries of Apache Spark? So it's very good to know about different, different libraries, different options that we have in Apache Spark. So when you go for an interview, it's good to refresh those libraries and the purpose for which you are using these libraries. Because these are the code libraries that provide you a lot of business value, a lot of uh, technology enhancement in Apache Spark. Let's see what are these libraries. So some of the main libraries of Apache Spark are as follows. Mlib, Graphx, Structured Streaming, Spark SQL, and Spark R. So let's see in detail what are these libraries, what each of these is doing. So Mlib is Spark's machine learning library. So we use a lot of machine learning in big data systems. So in that case, we can use the Mlib with the Spark and we can create a scalable machine learning system with Spark. And we can also use different, different machine learning algorithms by using this library. And there are features like pipelining, etc., that also come along with this library. So these all can be done in Mlib library. Then if you have a graph problem, then we can use GraphX, where in this library, we can use the computation of graphs. We can create a graph abstraction of data, like if our data is in a graph format, for example, for social media, like for that, we can do graph abstraction of data. And then we can use the graph operators on this, from this library, like subgraph, join vertices, etc. Then we have structured streaming, so structured streaming is like uh, another library which is uh, used for uh, handling streams in Spark. And it's a fault tolerant system which is built on top of Spark SQL engine to process streams. So if you see structured streaming, like whenever we have to use a stream operation, then we like use a structured streaming library. And also with streaming, we can have a fault tolerant system built into the system. Then we have Spark SQL. And this is another popular component that is used for processing SQL queries on Spark platform. So this is also very good, like where we have to do SQL query processing. Then Spark provides this feature where Spark SQL can be directly used to do the SQL-like operations. Then we have Spark R. This is a full package in Spark, and we can use it to implement our R language code. We can use R data frames, dplyr, all those kind of things can be used from this package. And we can also start Spark R from R Studio. That is also a functionality that is given by Apache Spark. So the main libraries are Spark R, Spark SQL, Structured Streaming, GraphX, and Emlib. So these are the main libraries of Apache Spark that we use.